Back when I was in ninth grade, every single time that I had a problem, YouTube would solve it. I didn't know how to do this task, I would go to YouTube. Every, any time that I didn't know how to do this task, I would go to YouTube. Every time I didn't know how to solve a specific problem in my life, I would go to YouTube. Now, obviously, YouTube can be used well for learning basic skills like how to tie a tie or how to fix a sink. But this is for the people on self-improvement. This is for the people who are actually trying to improve yourselves. Most of the answers that you're looking for are already inside of yourself. You just need to do a little digging. YouTube is completely unnecessary for the most of us. And most of us really only need like 15 minutes a day of YouTube and that is it. But what most people like to think is that, oh yeah, I'm going to keep watching this. I'm going to keep watching this. Keep thinking that I'm productive. Keep thinking that I'm productive. Yep, I'm on self-improvement. I watch all these self-improvement YouTube videos, but don't do anything else. But I'm still on self-improvement, right? And Hamza changed my life. No, you need to be looking inside of yourself. You need to put that phone down and you need, and you need to think about the best action that you need to take moving forwards. Because let's be real, a lot of act, plans of actions given to you by a lot of these guys, they aren't actually implementable for you. You might have some strengths, you might have some weaknesses that you know you need to work on. So when you're, next time you're watching a YouTube video, next time you're watching a TikTok, delete that app right now, you are you won't get anything from that. But next time you watch an informative TikTok, actually think to yourself, is, is this something that I should actually implement? Or should I just follow it blindly? Or should I just never implement it and just waste all my time on this platform? I don't know, you'll decide.